I die, Snoop, tell you about what I found Christians doing on this internet. Welcome, Snoop, the Christian Behavior. Hey, I'm Peter Franson from ChristianGeekCentral.com and Spirit Blade Productions. Welcome to your Christian Geek Radar regarding the month of October 2016. A uh, few book releases and some video game stuff. First up, a book by Kevin C. Neese called The Gospel According to Star Trek, The Original Crew. Uh, and that's the imprint is Cascade Books. The website is WIPFandStock.com. Dot com w i p f and stock dot com uh, the description what's Christian about Star Trek nothing that's the way most people see it and that certainly seems to be the way the franchise is intended there's no question that the Trek universe is based on a doggedly humanistic worldview and is set in a future time when religion has essentially vanished from Earth if that's the case how can there even be a gospel according to Star Trek in the gospel according to Star Trek the original crew you'll discover how the continuing voyages of Kirk and Company aboard the Enterprise, from the original series to the Abrams verse, tells us more about our human quest for God than you ever imagined. You'll learn how Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry's own spiritual quest informed the franchise, what he and the series really have to say about God and religion, and the amazing image of Christ contained in Star Trek's most popular character. You'll also see how Star Trek can help us reco recover a deeper, more fully human gospel that embraces our humanity instead of denigrating it, and echoes the call of both Spock and Christ live long and prosper John 10:10 10, 10. Uh, so anyway again that book is called The Gospel According to Star Trek the Original Crew by Kevin C Nice uh, next up, A Tragic Consequence, which is book four in The Order of the Moonstone by J.C. Morrows. The description reads, Forced to flee, wounded, and on the run. Not exactly a safe place for a former assassin and a prince with a price on his head. In the dark streets of Aurelius, Caden and her prince struggle to find a way to set the country right again. But the Order of the Moonstone has a long reach and a strong grip. Will the two of them be able to find a way to bring down Caden's former employers? Or will Caden's unusual charm help them to find an ally? where there was none. So that's A Tragic Consequence by J.C. Morrows. For more information, you go to jcmorrows.com. Scarlet Moon, Children of the Book, excuse me, Children of the Blood Moon, Book One. Scarlet Moon, uh, this is by author S.D. Grimm. The description reads, Destiny can pick someone else. Evil is slipping to the cracks of its prison, and all Soladan trembles in its wake. Yet some would harness that evil to their own ends, and first among them is Idla, the sorceress queen bent on distorting the world. Only one can stand in her way, Jaden. Upon realizing her mark as the prophesied deliverer, Jaden conceals herself from her enemies and her Faravolk countrymen. But after the harm the Faravolk caused to her family, she's loath to rescue the not-so-innocent. Hiding her mark was never easy, but now that Jaden knows both Queen Idla and the Faravolk are after her, hiding her gift of the Blood Moon will be impossible. That's uh, from EnclavePublishing.com, Scarlet Moon by S.D. Grimm. And the last book uh, is Unblemished by Sarah Ella. Eliana has always recoiled from her own reflection in the mirror, but what if that were only one reflection, one world? What if another world existed where her blemish could become her strength? Eliana is used to the shadows. With a hideous birthmark covering half her face, she just hopes to graduate high school unscathed. That is, until Joshua hops a fence and changes her perspective. No one, aside from her mother, has ever treated her as normal, maybe even beautiful. Because of Joshua, Eliana finally begins to believe she could be loved. But one night after her mother doesn't come home, uh, excuse me, but one night her mother doesn't come home, and that's when everything gets weird. Now Joshua is her new and rather reluctant legal guardian. Add a hooded stalker and a Central Park battle to the mix, and you've gone from weird to otherworldly. Eliana soon finds herself in a world much larger and more complicated than she's ever known. A world enslaved by a powerful and vile man. And Eliana holds the answer to defeating him. How can an ordinary girl, a blemished girl, become a savior when she can't even save herself? So that is Unblemished by Sarah Ella. For more information, you go to sarahella.com slash books. Uh, all right. In video game stuff, That Dragon Cancer, uh, which I've talked about on this segment before, uh, is, the, uh, is the video game that chronicles the uh, battle with cancer that one family shared with their, with their son um, as he struggled with cancer and, and ultimately lost that battle. Uh, and it's a, just a 
gripping, heavy uh, video game experience uh, that challenges, you know, the kinds of things that we consider games. Um, but I think it's very worthwhile. I've uh, uh, put up my own review of this game, and I, I highly recommend that everyone at least consider giving it a try. I don't think it's for everybody. But that's even easier now because that Dragon Cancer is available in the App Store, the uh, Apple App Store. So uh, if you are interested uh, in checking that out, uh, you can do so now using your iOS device. Uh, next up, I want to highlight Eden Industries. Now, uh, you may not have heard of them, but they created Citizens of Earth, which is an indie game that was actually very well received uh, by mainstream games media. And uh, they're uh, they, they've gone quiet for a little while. Uh, the developer lost his, his sister a little while ago, and so that caused things to kind of slow down for them. Uh, but work has uh, picked up again, and you can kind of get sneak peeks of what they're working on if you go to Facebook.com and search for Eden Industries. And they've got some, uh, some GIFs up there. Is it GIFs or GIFs? I'm going to say GIFs. Um, of, uh, of what they're working on, and it looks really cool. I mean, again, they're, they're not giving any details because these are unannounced games, or, un or an, an unannounced game, I'm not sure. Oh no, it's plural, unannounced games. Um, but both of them look like they have a really cool aesthetic and that they're being, uh, once again, created with excellence. So, uh, this is a, a developer that is Christian, but doesn't produce games that are specifically, uh, you know, Christian in theme or for a Christian audience. But definitely the kind of thing that I think, as believers, we want to we want to support. Uh, Any time that a Christian's doing something in mainstream media uh, with excellence, I think uh, I think that's a great thing to support. So again, Eden Industries, and you can find them on Facebook. And then the uh, the last thing I want to highlight is Fun Hill Games. Uh, this is another small studio that uh, produced Kings of Is the Kings of Israel board. Game game. The description reads, Kings of Israel is a cooperative biblical board game taking place during the time of the kings in, nor in the northern kingdom of Israel. Two to four players take on the role of prophets fighting off evil, trying to build the altars needed to win before the kingdom is destroyed by the Assyrians. Challenging and fun, strategic and educational, Kings of Israel is a game to enjoy on many levels. And then more recently they released Kings of Israel the video game. The Kings of Israel video game, they say, is a single player game based off of the Kings of Israel board game. The Kings of Israel video video game has features not found in the board game, such as a leveling up system that adapts to the player's skill, an optional Bible study feature, and quick play modes, now available on PC and Mac. All right, so that wraps it up for uh, all the news and highlights and Christian geekery that I could find for the month of October. If you want more Christian geekery that's happening on the web that maybe you don't know about, you can go over to ChristianGeekCentral.com and click on Portal. That will take you to a page where, based on your interest, you can find out all kinds of stuff that's going on in the world of Christian geekery, including the realms of books and magazines, comics and animation, podcasts and blogs, tabletop gaming, and video games. So I hope you'll join us at ChristianGeekCentral.com. Find some cool stuff there as we continue to to geek out and seek the truth. <laughs>